Okay. Vampire RN here with a quick lesson today. Just going to show you how to prepare uh, a slow IV push of really any type of medication. Uh, the goal here today is to show you how to draw the medicine up. So if we uh, take a look down here on our fresh surface, which we always work on avoiding germs, that's a new paper towel. I cleaned my hands, I put gloves on my clean hands, and now we will prep everything. So, first we'll start off with our flushes. This is a heparin flush that's perforated down the side. We open that up. First thing you're going to do is give it a tap. That brings the air to the top. Then you're going to loosen the cap just by going back and forth. These caps are not threaded, so it's just sitting on there loosely. Then you're going to crack the seal by slowly pushing the air out. Once you get some fluid that's prepped, cap back on, back down to your fresh surface. So now we're going to repeat with the saline flushes, and it's the exact thing to prep them. So you give it a tap, brings you out of the top, loosen the cap so it's sitting on there and then crack the seal by slowly pushing the air out with your hand above the cap. Once you get some fluid that's prepped, push the cap back down, back to our fresh surface. So just to review that, we tear open down the side there, and if you'll notice, I keyed in on three words there. They kind of rhyme, easy to remember. That would be tap, cap, and crack. Cap back on, back to our fresh surface. So now we're at the point where we're drawing up our medication. Uh, this particular one is anti-nausea medication, it's Zofran. So we're going to pop the top, and anytime you're piercing something with a needle, you're going to have to scrub it with alcohol. So I have the alcohol wipe there ready. We're going to get our 10 milliliter syringe, and the first thing I want you guys to do is make sure that needle head's on tight, because they loosen up in transit. So anytime you're drawing up fluid out of a vial, you first have to inject an equal amount of air into the vial to create a vacuum. Otherwise, you're just gonna be fighting to get the fluid out. Okay. So I load up my syringe with two milliliters of air. I then scrub down where I'm gonna pierce with the needle. 15. Now I'm right-handed, so with my left hand, I'm going to hold the vial on the table. We remove our cap, place the cap with the opening facing you. So you hold that vial with your left hand on the table. With your right hand, well, if you're right-handed, because that's my dominant hand, you act like you're throwing a dart, and you can steady the needle by placing your pinky on your thumb there. As close to the center as you can, straighten it out, and pierce. You're then going to bring it up, and pull it down so the needle's almost out, but not quite. Inject our air. And you'll notice most of it's going to come out on its own. You'll help out the last little bit. Once you get it all into the vial, okay, you can then push the vial down. Give it a flick that brings the air to the top. And you're then going to push back until you're at your two milliliters. And once you're there, we can remove our syringe. And with one hand, you're then going to scoop that cap up and place that back in order so you can deliver your medication safely and effectively. So that's how you prep any type of slow push drug for your patient. So until next time, Vampire Orange and saying peace out.